So Marvel adjacent, uh, okay. under the big, big umbrella of Disney, we've got Star Wars, which is oh. cool. Because, yeah. cause, you know, that started out in, you know, white man outer space. <laughs> 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 and, like, <laughs> as, as many white men as there are stars in the sky. Is that but... <laughs> what they call it, the Milky Way? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, and, you know, we did have Billy D. There was Billy D. <laughs> okay, I am so excited for, for um, uh, what's his name, as Lando. Oh my god, Han Solo. Ah, yeah, t- <laughs> total sidebar. But yeah, no, the guy who's playing Han, I love him. Do you know him? I don't know. I think we might have mentioned, we might have talked about him once, though. Have you seen Hail Caesar? I couldn't get through it. I don't know why. It was just... <gasps> oh, man. I love it. I love Coen Brothers, though. But he yeah. played the cowboy character, and he just charmed my pants off. He's an <laughs> adorable boy, and I love him. He's he's so, so funny and so, so talented. So when I found out he was playing Han, I just leapt over the moon. But we've got, of course, um, Donald Glover playing I, I, Lando. I need his own damn Star Wars movie, okay? Yeah, let's just do Lando. <laughs> Who needs Han Solo? I mean, like, Han the Solo's character great, needs but... a movie. Uh, Donald Glover needs a movie. Like, Atlanta was a movie. Donald Glover do everything. New Spider-Man, <laughs> Donald Glover. I'm still on that. Right, right. <laughs> that would have been but... so good. <laughs> <laughs> but these days, I think they're making a really big effort to... Uh, to be very inclusive and not be the Milky Way <laughs> anymore. Well, can we talk about how there's a woman in charge of Star Wars? <laughs> that makes a difference, I think. I think yeah, that for probably sure. probably does. Uh, but you know, we've got we've got Asian people flying through the stars. We've got Middle Eastern people flying through the stars. We got we got Latino people flying through the well, stars. We and, got and more nobody, black people flying through the stars. Nobody Nobody complained about it in, in Rogue One. Like, everybody loved Rogue One. for well, It was I, so I, good. Part. I loved everybody in that movie. Yeah, and it was, like... Donnie Yen. I yeah. love him. Oh. I love he's him. He's still show. He's show. He's, he's like, such a, that's his he's movie. Such a charmer. <laughs> Yeah, I loved that movie, and I and I just it was just so well because yeah, they were just like just people. It was like yeah, these guys are yeah. Chinese, but it, 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 people. It, it sincerely felt like they were not trying to fill a quotient. Yeah, they were just casting good actors. Casting good actors and being mindful that there would be people like there would be everybody, you know. Mm-hmm. And we've got we've got this the new trilogy, which is helmed by a woman, a Mexican man, and a black man. Yeah, and hopefully the Mexican man and the black man will fall in love. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers so hard or at least on the that Mexican one. Man will fall in love with some other man. It doesn't have to be Finn, but it would be good to be Finn. Well, I think he already is in love with Finn. See, that's, that's my true. belief. And they and are, that they scene... are in love, but you know, it might be a friendship love with how they might spin it. Listen, we can just we can we can have a polyamorous relationship here. <laughs> well, or or it like, has or two like... hands, okay? <laughs> or they could, they could like maybe spin it to like how they did in the original trilogy with like, oh, uh, Poe falls in love with with Finn, but Finn like doesn't fall for him because. Like, He's in love with Re- yeah, but that's yeah. always sad when you've got the unrequited cr- queer crush. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've That's always there. sad and, and, and done too often. <laughs> well, yeah, I think. But, but 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 what they could do, they could, they, they could sort of, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They, again, like, sure, that's a story that I need to be told for myself, but I don't necessarily have the answer to that. Except for, no, the answer is that they would fall in love. Yeah. There's... Well, here's the thing. Like, didn't J.J. Abrams once upon a time said there was going to be a gay character? He did. And there was one in the comic that sets up the backstory of Poe. Um, that is not, not enough. One. That is not. I, I will not accept that that is what he was referring to. That was that's that does not qualify. Uh, yeah, he'd said that in his new Star Wars movies there was gonna be a gay character, and I'm. There better I mean, be. Like, and they better not be. Um, 
a stupid cantina member? <laughs> yeah, no. some some five minute cameo character. No, no, it's no, Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron po is a gay man. Damn it, it's Poe Dameron. <laughs> it is. I love him so much. That whole cast is just so likable. Oh, they're all my best friends. Yeah, and and so many people really hate on Adam Driver, but I really uh, liked him. No, I think that character and him playing that character is so good and so appropriate and so appealing because that's well, the, the thing is he's supposed to be a little shit. Like he's, he's to be not a, a, cool. A little, a little shit who didn't have a father and. Well, well, he, he did, but he was... He, he rejected he, both of his father figures in favor of his yeah, evil and, grandpa. <laughs> yeah, and like... Which is funny because his grandpa turned out to not be evil, but... Yeah, go figure. <laughs> you, don't understand, you don't even know your grandpa, okay? You don't know his life. You don't know Anakin's life. But, <laughs> but like, his whole thing, and that's a really fascinating story to tell, is... You know, this this guy who's just, like, mad at the world, and he's awful and sucks, and he has a big, big lesson to learn, and he's either going to learn it or die. But he's not supposed to be cool. He's not Darth Vader. He's not even Darth Maul. He's he's a guy who wishes he was. He's a Hot Topic kid. Oh, that is such a good way to put it. Like, <laughs> he, he, he's a wannabe. He is a wannabe! He's cosplaying as his evil grandpa! <laughs> <laughs> And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's... No, that's It makes him such an interesting and compelling villain. And I think people don't like it because they were that kid in middle school. They're embarrassed to be that... You know what? They're that guy now, okay? <laughs> they really are. They're that guy now. They wish they <laughs> were are... Ray. <laughs> yes. They, they wish they were anybody but Kylo Ren, but they're Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren is out there. We all know a Kylo Ren. <laughs> and if he's we're a real guy if we're fortunate we know a ray a finn and a poe as well oh i wish <laughs> <laughs> i wish <laughs> yeah, i love him all so much like well and that's a really interesting thing about that movie is because the chemistry with the the original the og trio was bickering because that makes that makes things snappy. It's fun and yeah. easy to write, fun and easy to listen to. People, you know, who don't quite get along, we got some friction. You got instant conflict here. Yeah. But so much harder to do is write a compelling story about people who like each other. And they still bicker, but it's it's like, it's but much more like... They appreciate yeah, being, each like, other, like, they care being, about each other. Yeah, and, you, and with your friends, you're like, you poke at each other, but... You don't. Yeah, th I mean, yeah, there's 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 stuff going down, like, there's going to be some friction, but it's not because they're incompatible people, you know, and they, any, they, they anything, show love and appreciation for each other. Yeah, if anything, the, the sassiest, like, the, the bickery one is BB-8. I love BB-8! Oh, <laughs> I, I imagine BB-8 is a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that that'll be that'll be the gay character is BB-8. Yeah, <laughs> BB-8, the gay droid. I like it. No, the gay characters are C-3PO and R2-D2. Obviously, oh, no, they're but... married. I, I I hope they're not in the next one. I'm just so tired of them. I'm okay. I'm tired of C-3PO. I'll take R2-D2 any day of the week. Yeah, as long as, as long he's, as he's the sassiest. Like, as long as he's not like, I don't know. They feel like Team Rocket to me. Uh, how is that a bad thing? Tell me. I don't know. They're just so obligatory <laughs> that it's like, why are they, like, they don't have a reason for being No, there. well, see, the, the reason you feel that way, I think, is because they shouldn't have been in the, the prequels. Version. They shouldn't sure. have been in the prequels. They didn't belong there. They had no business being there. It doesn't make any contextual sense for them to be there. Why? Why did Anakin build C-3PO? Why would he build a protocol droid to help his slave mom? That's not what they're for. <laughs> protocol <laughs> droids are for <laughs> diplomacy. Why? Why? Like, how would he even know how to build a protocol droid? It doesn't make sense. Uh, because he has the force to tell him. Mm-hmm. Right. Forgot. Makes sense now. <laughs> oh, God. But no, I mean, I, honestly, when I go back and I watch the, the first movies, like, I love those two. Like, they're, they're a good time. Like, R2-D2, there's a reason why every kid loved R2-D2 is because he's a great little sassy garbage can. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe it's just the writing they're giving them lately or something. Well, uh, it's, yeah, they're just being shoehorned over and over and over, and it's yeah, sad. Yeah, whereas, like, in the original trilogy, it's like, d was just a total dick. 
<laughs> well, yeah, he was, he was a, R2-D2 was a dick. C-3PO was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. I, I, I don't use that word when I, when I can. <laughs> Uh, but I love that about him. I do. Like, I think that it's, I think it's a really fun dynamic that they've got, especially because, like, the sassy one is nonverbal. Yeah. It's a really good, and, you know, honestly, it's weird how we have these verbal, nonverbal duos in, in Star Wars. Like, that's just the thing Star Wars does, I guess, because we got Han and Chewie. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, I think... Chewie's is real sassy as well. Um, yeah. I, I love that. I love that. And I love that they never feel the need to translate for them. Like, they, they sometimes do a lassie where they're like, what's that? You say that. But, yeah. like, generally their their characterization speaks for itself. And that, it takes work. Mm-hmm. Like, BB-8. Oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cutest baby droid. And I love I love how much BB-8 loves Poe. I know. So oh, much. So, so, so much. Like, I hope, <laughs> I hope it's, it's probably not going to happen, but I hope that Poe meets Luke because I feel like they're very similar. You think so? Well, I feel like Poe is very much like young Luke because they're both, like, headstrong and sure of themselves, you know, star pilots, you know. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see the sort of the pilot comparison. I think, um, I think Luke always had a sort of G whiz factor that uh, <laughs> that yeah. Poe doesn't have. He's a little bit more worldly. He he has he has the the smoothness of Han. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he's somewhere. He's sitting sitting somewhere in the middle between those two. I think. And 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 then I like that Poe or not Poe uh, Finn is like I don't know. I felt like he wasn't. A combination of any of them. I felt like he was his own character. Yeah, he was this totally new boy, and I love that boy that he is. He's a good boy. The way that he re- relates to Ray is very interesting because he clearly just gets this big old crush right away. Um, and so the question is, sort of like what? So like, what is his experience with women? Like, ha- what women has he known, and like, what is his sort of experience there? I'm wondering if it's very little because yeah. Remember he like grabs her hand and she's like, "Don't do that." And he's like, "What? Really? Don't?" Or maybe, <laughs> maybe they have like they all they have is like movies and they're like really old, you know. Yeah. Analogous to well, old Hollywood movies where it's like chivalry and he has to like lead the way or whatever. And they 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 get this that that cute moment where he's like you 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 got a boyfriend you got a cute boyfriend <laughs> like that's a great line and it just sort of makes me wonder like what is his sort of like knowledge of dating and experience with dating like what's going on and I, it's not something that this movie needs to answer whatsoever i don't think it would be a good idea really oh, to go there oh, but <laughs> circling back to power rangers um so thankful that those two did not kiss in the first the first episode of that new trilogy I'm, mm. And then in Power Rangers, um, the two leads fall in love, but they don't kiss in, like, a romantic, you know, we just beat her moment, you know? Yeah. Which is so refreshing. Like, they just started, like, you know. Like, give them time to get to know one another. This has been a whirlwind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and, and, and it's, it's great, too, because you can see um, in Star Wars, you know, the the great sort of affection and care that develops between these characters for good reason. Like, they have each other's back, they're important to each other, like, especially on, you know, on both of their parts, because they've both been alone, you know, Finn in a different way, but, like, they've never had anyone, and so for them to have someone that they can count on is a really, really big thing. And so they do really develop this this bond, but, like you know, maybe it'll go a direction and maybe it won't. Like, at this point, I'm, you know, Ray almost strikes me as being asexual or at least demisexual. Like, she's not into, like... She's got bigger problems. She's got bigger problems, for sure, <laughs> at very least. Um, but I kind of wonder, like, you know, we're not we're not getting the sense, at least at this point, that any romantic feelings are being reciprocated on her part. Like, yeah. he's clearly got the big old crush. She just seems to really appreciate him. Yeah. And, and, and so that I would think be interesting it would be really too. Cool. Yeah, if, if they did choose to make her. Although, uh, I don't know how bold it would be if they made her asexual without, like, 
making it explicit. Yeah, I, yeah, I think there would have to. It, it would. It, it wouldn't matter unless there was a moment where he was like, "I am in love with you," and she's like, "That's not. A, that's not a thing I really do." Uh, yeah. But thank you. That means a lot to me that you feel that way. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I, I. But because um, if they just yeah. don't address it at all, then it it would it would it would just it wouldn't seem like mean she, anything. It would just seem like she's bound to her duty or whatever. Yeah. Or she just didn't like him that way. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, you know, so let's just do it. You, we've got the two ver- the two options. Either we've got this good times polyamory thing going on with the three of them, or unrequited all around. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only acceptable options. <laughs> Which, as long as everybody's um, honest about who they are and out, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just make a choice and stick to it. Be honest with it. That's the important part. But I just love I mean, my baby. The kids growing up watching this, like, I was, like, four or five when I watched the first, the original trilogy. I'm sure there are, like, way more queer kids now than there were then. Mm-hmm. And if they all saw that growing up, yeah. That would be huge. Well, and, like, let, yeah, let's have some romantic simplicity after the just bizarre romantic confusion of the previous movies we've got we've got this weird pseudo incest thing going on with luke and leia for a while and that's yeah uncomfortable uh and then the sort of weird toxic thing i mean as much as i love leia and han like the way they get together is sort of squicky well like, and, and you see that you see that in the in the the newer movies where their relationship has fallen apart yeah, um, and and yeah, I mean, for lots of reasons, their relationship fell apart. But like, you know, it, and this is, see, this is an old Harrison Ford standby where his romantic <laughs> lead says, "No, Harrison Ford, I'm not interested in you." And he smiles at her and he says, "I don't believe you." And then he kisses her, <laughs> and then they're in love. So, yeah. <laughs> like, that's just what Harrison Ford do. Uh, so it's not a surprise that that's the way it went, but in retrospect, you know, from from a modern perspective, it's a really uncomfortable and sort of icky. Yeah, thing. if you think about it, there are no healthy romantic relationships in any of Star Wars. Yeah, well, because then I was gonna go on to say, and then we got the prequels, and which is an abusive and relationship. <laughs> yeah. I hate it. I hate it. They have no chemistry, and it's weird and gross. Like, uh, it's the weirdest thing too. Because he's, like, they meet when when he's just a child. Like, he is just straight up a child. And she's, like, a wise beyond her years teenage monarch. Like, <laughs> this is this is not a balanced relationship. From the get-go. <laughs> From the get-go. And then he's just a whiny, awful kid. And, it, I mean, like, as a teenager, like, he just sucks. And I don't know what she sees in him. Like, there's There no... must be something in that grass in the, on the boo. Yeah, you know, she hates sand, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's a very poorly, poorly written romance. Oh, did you hear that they were going to be doing some more Obi-Wan Kenobi stuff with him? Um, I didn't hear anything past him having a couple voice lines in uh, the, For- the Force Awakens. But Yeah, I think surprised. they're in talks to, like, do an Obi-Wan story. I hope they do, and I hope they do a feature film... Um, about his love relationship that appeared in the Clone Wars because it was mm. really compelling. Um, we could do, we could do Ben Kenobi, the Hermit Years. Oh no, thank you. <laughs> just, just well, a unless, weird old man it, living on Tatooine. If it did involve him, maybe like searching out his his love from the Clone Wars, like that could be interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe it could be sort of like a um, post midlife romance. Movie a la Nicholas Sparks, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. in Star Wars, <laughs> yeah, do do sort of a a, a Robin Hood and Marion type, thing. <laughs> you know, the movie yeah. with with uh, Sean Connery and Audrey Hepburn. Uh, I I haven't seen it, but I know what you're talking oh, about. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like older Robin Hood and Marion, and they're like mm-hmm. they meet each other again. My cat is just really trying to get in at this closet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can't hear it, so that's good. That's good. Sharp teeth, test your skin. Too late, you let an angel in.